Hey, it's Steve Hoffman at the Norton Center. And I was just thinking, what might be fun to show our friends who may or may not normally get to see parts of the building? And I thought, well, I never see the women's restroom, right? Uh, but there is stuff in there that people might be interested in seeing, not what you're thinking. So why don't you come with me and we will go in and I can show you what I'm talking about. Come on along. Don't be afraid. And I've already checked, there is no one in here except for us now. But look at this. Yo-Yo Ma and the Silk Road Ensemble. These are posters from past concerts. And I thought it might be kind of fun to show everyone. Fatumata Diawara. Stephen Lang from Avatar and many other shows. Recognize him. American Chamber Players. So with some classical music. Oh, this was fun. Intergalactic Nemesis. It was a graphic novel that came to life on stage. Darius de Haas. Now, Darius was one of the original cast members in Rent, and he's been on Broadway in many different shows. Alice and Krauss in Union Station. That was back in, I think, 2012, and we're going to hopefully see her again very soon. Sphinx Virtuosi with Catalyst Quartet. That's an all African and Latin American chamber, uh, chamber orchestra. Ballet Folklorico de Bahia. If you remember, we had a Brazilian dance and music group. They came. That was a lot of fun. Oh, there's another one of Silk Road. Circus Oz. That was a fun show, too. That was two nights of crazy Australian circus acts. We had a Christmas concert with Take Six. If you notice, all of these have been signed by the artists, too. Uh, Daly and Vincent did a Christmas show. Oh, here's one I really like. Huey Lewis in the News. What a great concert. The Russian State Symphony. Now they did something a lot of fun. Uh, they did an encore where students from Center College got to share a stand with the musicians and they actually got to play uh, a, a song with them. And they did Stars and Stripes Forever. It was, it was great. There's your sign, Bill Engvall. Oh, that was a fun show. I Love Lucy live on stage. It was like you were watching a couple of the I Love Lucy uh, episodes behind the scenes, too. Lara St. John and Marie-Pierre Langlemay, harp and violin concerto. Oh, it was just beautiful music. Incredible. Yes, Leanne Womack in Whistler Theater, 350 seats. She walked out on stage and said... It's like you're all in my living room. This is so intimate. And yes, it was. Celtic Thunder, the all-male version of Celtic Women. That was a big hit. Paul Taylor Dance Company, one of the most remarkable American dance companies uh, around. Oh, this was a Christmas show with Winona. And then back a few years ago, we had Under the Street Lamp, the Broadway musical Memphis, the play production of Bronte's Withering Heights by Aquila Theater, and all you family goers, gatherers, we had Miss uh, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood Live. That was a lot of fun. We had Vocal Ensemble Contus. You get a selfie of me. The Griffon Trio. 
from Canada. Another kid's show, Veggie Tales Live. A St. Patrick's Day event we had with Danu. Aquila version, Aquila Theater doing a version of uh, The Adventure of Sherlock Holmes. That was an incredible concert, incredible performance. And the Broadway production, 42nd Street. And Parsons Dance. That was great. We, with Parsons, we did a master class for dance students. We brought the dance company to Kentucky School for the Deaf and did a workshop with middle school students. Then they did movement and dance. We also did a workshop for uh, people on the spectrum of autism. And we did, uh, did a workshop with those people and their caregivers. And we had a student matinee. What a great performance. All right, so we're heading out of the women's room. We'll get a chance to see some of Sheldon Tapley's artwork. See, that wasn't anything bad. That was really good, as a matter of fact. Fun, good, wholesome fun. Just happened to see, be in the women's room. And we're equal opportunity, I think. Now, let's go into the men's room. Here we are. Sorry for any of the glare. Uh, but we had, let's see, Craig Morgan and Phil Vassar. That was such an incredible concert. They did a, an acoustic Christmas, just them with acoustic musicians behind them, all on bar stools. That was, that was really cool. Uh, the Munich Symphony Orchestra with the Romeros, Romero Brothers, guitarists. Oh, this was incredible. Australian Chamber Orchestra with Don Upshaw. And they did a new work by composer Maria, Maria Schneider. And wow, I think everyone in the audience just raved about the new piece. Tried something different. We did a program called We Are What We Eat. And it was with Marion Nessel and Daphne Miller. And they are food ethic uh, professors. And uh, Daphne is a physician too, and they talked about healthy eating and how that affects our culture and us as a people. Ah, Vienna and the Dude. That was the Vienna Philharmonic with the Dude, Gustavo Dudamel. Count Basie Orchestra with Diane Schur, Legends. Caesar Milan, the Dog Whisperer. Former members of the Electric Light Orchestra and EOLO Part 2. That was pretty incredible. Lise de La Salle, beautiful, phenomenal pianist from Paris. True Blues featuring Corey Harris and Eric Bibb. That was a great show. They did a, a clinic with musicians and helped them and gave critiques. And that, that was a lot of fun. I want to know what love is. So does Foreigner and everyone who came to see that concert. That was incredible. A legendary guitarist, Stanley Jordan, with his trio in Whistaker Theater. Raul Malo from the Mavericks. Julian Lodge, who is a uh, guitar, guitar virtuosi. And Chris Eldridge, an amazing guitarist. Uh, from the Punch Brothers. Wild Kingdom with Peter Gross. Oh, we had the President's Own United States Marine Band. Cyril Ami. Oh, this was one of my favorite concerts. She is just an incredible singer and artist. And um, just, if you get a chance, check her out if you didn't see her. Uh, in 2015. She's just phenomenal. Legendary Jim Belushi and the Board of Comedy. That was a lot of fun for Family Weekend and did, did this uh, a lot of improv. Bela Fleck with Brooklyn Ryder. Ooh, legendary Greg Allman. These are all within the last 10 years. Scotty McCreary from American Idol fame. The Broadway music rag, musical ragtime. And we have Smash Mouth. 
Come on. Think about it. I'll be an earworm for you to sing in your head if you want the Daydream Believer. Recycled percussion, direct from Vegas. That was a lot of fun. Starship. Now, Starship came when ZZ Top had to postpone their concert. And it was a homecoming show, and we needed to fill that show. And Mickey Thomas and Starship all said, we'll come and do it for you. And that was great. Another Punch Brother alum, Chris Thiele and Nickel, Nickel Creek fame. And Edgar Meyer, one of the most phenomenal bass players you will know. The Japanese Winter Plum Festival, where we brought a very traditional Japanese theater to Danville. And first time in over a hundred years, this type of theater had been performed in the United States. And it was one night only, and that was really remarkable. Judy Collins and Arlo Guthrie, that was a holiday show with the two of them together in their own sets. Very cool. Yay, ZZ Top. Oh, and the Ben Miller Band, their opening act. They said, Ben Miller's people said, we will sell so many CDs because we they come as strangers, they leave as fans. And that was totally true. If you ever get a chance to Google Ben Miller Band, it's a pretty raucous, fun, kind of rocking blues group. And then the bad boy of the pipe organ, Cameron Carpenter. So that's the men's room. I hope you had fun <laughs> visiting with me through the bathrooms. Uh, see, it was safe, it was clean, family, wholesome fun. But I did want to show you the posters we had inside there because there are, we, we try to entertain people wherever they go and I guess that's all I need to say about that. I hope everyone is doing well, and I'll look forward to talking with you and seeing you again sometime soon. Thanks. Bye.